There are four characteristics that are unique to sheep. Other animals may have some of these characteristics, but for the most part, they're unique to sheep. A sheep is able to recognize the voice or the sound of an individual. And if you are their shepherd, they can distinguish your voice from the voice of other people. However, sheep are also able to recognize the voices of those who are associated to the shepherd. Maybe you're not the main shepherd, maybe you're the son of the shepherd, but you're always around the sheep. The sheep can recognize your voice because they're constantly around you. The sheep can not only recognize human voices, but sheep can also recognize each other's voice. So a sheep can recognize the voice of another sheep. Now, here's where it becomes uh, very, very powerful for sheep, is that sheep, if they don't recognize your voice, they're aware that your voice is a foreign voice. So sometimes what I find happens to Christians is if you can say the right words, they recognize the words, but they don't recognize the voice. Because saying the right words is not what makes you a minister of God or not what makes you a person that speaks on behalf of God. It's being associated with God and saying the right words that make you associated to God. So I'm not so much saying to judge people, but I'm saying that when a person is speaking the word of God, something in the believer, the sheep, can hear the voice of God. Because God's voice is not just found in the words, but God's voice is found in the spirit of the words. So a person can be telling you don't steal, you know, don't cheat, don't do this, don't do that. And behind the mouth, there's a spirit that doesn't feel like the spirit of the shepherd. And I think that we're living in a day and age where when we see people that are full of anger, full of hatred, full of wow. legalism, full of self, full of pride, even if they're saying the right words, we should be aware that this voice is not connected to the voice of the shepherd. This is not a voice I can recognize. But we're living in a time period where people are like computers. They don't use their spirit. They don't even use their intelligence to be able to decipher something. All they do is they just look at the words. And if the words are right, then it's right. But at the end of the day, what I love about the scripture is that one of the first phases of understanding within the mind of a sheep is I must know the voice. I must know the voice more than I understand the voice. I must know the voice more than the words that are spoken. Because wolves speak. And not only do wolves speak, other people speak. Someone who wants to have a nice leg of um, lamb, they know how to talk. But I don't want to follow the voice of those who have not been put in position to protect me. I want to be able to follow the voice of the shepherd who is Jesus Christ who is there for me. So one of the greatest indicators of, of being a sheep is to hear the voice. Not to understand the voice, but to hear the voice and to be able to distinguish the voice of God from the voice of other people. In the scripture, I just want to talk about the four other um, characteristics of sheep. So another characteristic of sheep, and, th and this is one that hits hard in, in the church community. And I, th I think this is one that where a lot of church people have to think about it. Another characteristic of sheep beyond just recognizing voices, recognizing and hearing voices and being able to distinguish. A second one is that sheep are naturally flockers. Sheep don't like to be by themselves. Sheep like to be surrounded by other sheep. Now, I'm not just saying that sheep like to have company because if a sheep keeps company with a wolf, by the end of the discussion, it's gonna become a meal. But sheep like to keep company with other sheep because by keeping company with other sheep, they are under the protection of their brothers and sisters because where there's more sheep, then there's more protection. But then also the shepherd is always around the flock of sheep. So one of the characteristics of sheep is that sheep like to fellowship. They like to be with other sheep. Now I noticed something within the Christian community that there's a lot of people that are in the Christian community that don't like to be around other believers. They don't like to be even around other people. They just like to be by themselves. Like, Pastor, I just like being by myself. You know, when church ends, 
they dart out of church, don't say anything to anybody because they just got the word. They got filled with the word and they're going to go home because they only came to church just for God. The problem with that is that is not a characteristic of the sheep. Sheep like to eat, yeah, but they like to eat within a flock. They like to be around other believers because sheep are empowered by the community. So when a person doesn't like to be in community, and when a person is antisocial, I'm not just talking about antisocial from a social perspective. I'm saying a person who's been in church, maybe they've been hurt by somebody, or maybe they just don't like to be around people. Maybe they just like to be by themselves. Maybe they don't want no one to know their business, and they want to keep their business secret or whatever. Or maybe they don't want anybody you know, to um, know where they live. I don't really know what the excuse is. But at the end of the day, if you are a person that doesn't like to be around other Christians, you know, I'm not into church. I just have church at home and stuff like that. That's an indication that you are not a sheep because the nature of sheep, they like to be around people. Now, in fairness, all of us, we have a sinful nature. All of us, we've been like um, lost without Christ. So now Christ has found us. And in being found by Christ, we need Christ to rejuvenate some of our natural characteristics. So because of what I've been through, I may not like to be around people, but I can't get comfortable in that because if I get comfortable in that, then I'm not, act I'm not acting like a sheep. I'm not acting like a person called by God. So I need God to empower me by his grace. The same way that he saves me from sin, I need him to save me from being a person of isolation, from being a person that doesn't um, have good relationships with other people, by, from being a person that sees people in a negative light and doesn't see that this is a big world and there are children of God in this world and I need to connect with some of them to be able to grow because I have a gift to share and I also have gifts to, re to receive. I cannot receive a gift from you if I don't talk to you, if I don't have fellowship with you. You cannot receive a gift from me if you don't spend some time with me and talk with me and have interaction with me. So it's very, very important for us to understand that as it relates to sheep, sheep recognize and they can hear the voice of God may not understand what he's saying, but they can recognize that there is a voice to listen to. But they also are people who like to fellowship. They don't like to be by themselves. Closely related to this idea of fellowship, this is something that really, really just opened up my mind around, around sheep, is that if you talk about bats, bats like to stay in dark places. Bats don't come out in the day because they don't like the light. So they oftentimes will hide in the darkness until night falls, and then they'll come out into the night and they enjoy themselves. But the thing about a bat is, a sheep is the exact opposite of a bat. Sheep, they sleep at night because they don't really like the, the night. Sheep, they love the light. If you put them in a dark place, and there's a little piece of light. They will all run to the light because sheep, they love the light. So if you are a sheep and you like dark gossip and you like dark conversations and you're always negative and you always see the bad in everything and you like to fight with people and you like to argue with people and you never have a day of joy and you never ever really want to go out into the light. You always want to stay in the darkness. Stay, stay attached to worldly things that... You know, I enjoy being around people in the world more than I enjoy being around Christians because people in the world are more real. No, people in the world are in greater darkness. And sometimes, if we're not careful, we can have a bat spirit. Um, and maybe, maybe we're a bat man or bat woman. We like to come out at night. But at the end of the day, God wants us to have a spirit of a sheep. And sheep love the light. Now, ultimately... I'm not going to gloss over and say that everybody who says they're Christian is a nice person or, or everything in church is good. Obviously not. But there is a difference between going after things of light and going after things of darkness. And I think that if we are a sheep, we want to be people that go after things of, of, of the light. That instead of trying to um, walk toward things that are full of fear, we should be able to walk toward things that are full of faith. Instead of always trying to get in conversation with people that are, you know, always have something negative to say, we need to start to say, you know, God, bring me into conversation with people who have something positive to say, someone who has a word of life, because I want to go after the light. I don't want to go after darkness. So, so I think it's very, very important for us to understand that, because without that, I think that 
there are many people who are operating like bats, but they would qualify themselves to be sheep. 